banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room, where I have an Atari game featuring a criminal who's trapped inside of Breakout. Prepare to be squashed in squeeze box. What? You've never heard of squeeze box? It's the Atari game where you squash a criminal with multicolored bricks who's desperately trying to defend himself with a pink squirt gun. A rather inhumane game, if you think about it. What what did he do to deserve this punishment? Maybe he failed to brush his teeth. They could have just as easily called this game, shut down all the trash compactors on the detention level, and licensed that from Star Wars, but no, instead we get a generic criminal who's going to lose no matter how well you play, and then to make matters worse for him, He's going to burn in the fiery depths of hell as the devil stomps on him. Literally. That, that's the ending of the game. What an incredible game you've discovered. Or, or not. It would be better with the Star Wars license, I'll say that. Like, what's this guy's backstory? I don't have the instruction manual, so maybe, maybe he ran over a bunch of nuns with a school bus or something. Your punishment is to be put inside Breakout for all eternity. It's never a good ending in this game. There's a couple different modes of gameplay in Squeezebox. The basic mode is what we're watching here, where you have blocks encroaching on your space from both directions. You can shoot them back, but eventually they're going to win no matter what. So it feels like an exercise in futility. Futility. Enunciate, Mark. Enunciate. Futility. You try to find coal iron's fuel. Maybe that was his crime. Not enunciating. Futility. Let's take a look at mode two, which is a bit more interesting. In this mode, you're only being assaulted by colored bricks attacking from one side of the screen. If you shoot them all the way back, they turn white. Now they're still going to kill you if they touch you, but you'll clear out the rounds if you can turn them all white. Which is actually harder than it looks because the controls in this game are horrific. It's very difficult to aim and move around, and well, well, I'll give the designers a lot of credit for making the criminal look like a criminal. The game itself feels like it was pretty half-baked, which is common for a lot of 1982-1983 Atari games. Let's get a game out there as quickly as possible, combine some arcade-style things, make a neat cover art design. This does have a very good-looking cartridge design. And then we'll sell it in Sears. My problem with this one is that... It's just not that much fun to go for a high score. It's interesting in short doses. Like, oh, they made a game out of this. Neat. But you'll quickly find yourself wanting to go back to some better Atari 2600 games because there's many better Atari 2600 games. This is a 1982 release from US Games and some of their games are good. Others aren't quite as exciting. I would say pass on this one. Spend your money on some more exciting Atari releases, like Egomania, also from US Games. And this and Egomania were sent to the show by Stuart in Glasgow, Scotland. So thank you, Stuart. Thank you for sending the criminal squashing game of the decade. It's Squeezebox on Atari 2600. <laughs> 